Today, I'm going to give you a few quick tips to help your off-the-track thoroughbred have a great foundation and dressage. This is a horse I have in for retraining and sale right now, and you can see he's accepting the contact and going around very quickly, easily, uh, one or two weeks into my program. The first thing I did with this horse is I lunged him to teach him to accept the contact and teach him how to use his hind leg. So thoroughbreds race on their forehands, and so the biggest thing with thoroughbreds is we have to teach them how to balance back, how contact works, and how to use his hind leg. So I'm teaching him to accept the outside rein here and step with his inside right hind leg, and he's figuring out how to balance and strike off in his transitions instead of racing and running forward on his forehand. I think it's really important. I didn't ask him or chase him in the canter. I just waited for him to find his balance. His canter is beautiful. His trot is beautiful too. There's another one. He was a little speedy into that and I really wanna see him lift his shoulder and step under with that hind leg. Like there, that's beautiful. He's for sale. Buy him. And he's very, very obedient. He's such a good boy. I have a pet peeve that people call thoroughbreds when they're green. He's just unbalanced. He's not green, which you can see right here. So the first thing I'm going to teach an off-the-track thoroughbred is how to turn their shoulders. And he doesn't quite know how to turn his shoulders. Sometimes, like there, he gave me his hind legs. So I'm just riding around this horse at the walk and puttering and asking for him to move his shoulder over. You can see me kicking with my right leg there. Hey, move your shoulder over. You can see me kicking with my left leg there, and he was a good boy. He responded. I asked for his left front shoulder, and he moved it. Notice I'm not in his face. I'm letting him use his head to balance. Now, this right shoulder is really stiff. I'm kicking. I'm getting nothing. Now, I would carry a whip normally and tap him lightly on the shoulder, but this horse is a little bit nervous about it still. It's not going to be a problem in the future, but I didn't want my first introduction with him to be me carrying a whip and hitting him on the shoulder. There, he did a really nice turn off my seat and leg, because eventually you want to get a great dressage core on this horse. There, I'm asking for the right shoulder. Please move your right shoulder. He's like, no, I can't. It's broken. Just kidding. There he goes. He gave me a half a step here. Er, there it goes. See that? So this might sound so basic and not a big deal, but this is huge because when he does that, he has to sit behind and he has to lift it up. And he's always raced with it flat out and forward. So this is also how we're going to develop a half halt on him. The turns are going to teach him to rebalance to the hind leg, and eventually I'll be rebalancing him and half halting with my outside aids when we do that. So this might seem like really kind of quiet putter work, and it is. I love this kind of work. I can do it in just a couple sessions, and then the horses have such a better understanding. Like you literally have to explain to him, move your shoulder over without pulling. It's off my seat and my leg. And he was a good boy there, so I ended on a good note, and I hopped off, and that was it for our first ride. And that's the video from our first ride. Now we ask in the trot. Then eventually you ask in the canter. So in the trots, you know, you don't do it the first ride, a couple rides. Then you start asking him to lift and turn that shoulder in the trot. And I added in asking for a little bit of bend. Sometimes you'll see me take my elbow, kind of like my tricep back a little bit, and then push it forward. I want him accepting the contact with the outside rein. And I'm very giving on it. Here is when we just started out. He was super tense. And so I was like, you can, you can bend it a little. And there I lost his shoulder, and you can't see it because I kicked it from the outside. But I need to get this left shoulder. I need to get his left shoulder to the right, and then he will be able, there, I got it, then I can ask for the bend. But I can't ask for the bend or get into his face or anything like that until I got that left shoulder 
over to the right. There I'm asking again, can you move your shoulder to the right? And you can tell because I'm getting closer to the camera. And then I asked for the bends. And then he's accepting the contact and going around on the bit. Now you notice he's pretty slow in this video. Yeah, I'm asking him to balance. I'm not asking him to showbow and run around with tons of impulsion. I'm teaching him the idea right now, and I will add the impulsion later. Next week, I will get him in that position, and then we will go. See there? He's too unbalanced to turn right there. He's like, I don't know how to move my shoulder. By the end of next week, this horse will be turning on a dime. No problem. He just has to learn how to pick up. This is not anything physical. It is literally dressage 101. We have to teach him how to use his body parts. Now, this is his right shoulder, and it is very stiff. If you've ever ridden a thoroughbred off the track, sometimes it is like moving a brick house. <laughs> so his right shoulder needs to be able to move to the left. And it is hard. He took a lot of outside aids. By outside aids, I'm not pulling. I'm just using my groin muscle, my leg. But it worked. I got it. <laughs> Look at how, how in the contact he is. Then he came up. And I get his shoulder. And then I ask for a little bend. And there he is again. Shoulder, bend, contact. Shoulder, huh, see him fall out with that right front shoulder? But I got it, and then I was able to straighten him, and then he was able to be round. So if he's not straight, I can't get him round. If he's not straight, you see him fall out there, and then his head came up? Yeah, because he fell out there. He has to be straight to be round. I hope that answers some of your questions today of how to get an off-the-track thoroughbred round and on the bit. And, you know, really this is just the beginning. Today I asked for his shoulders. However, we still have to address his hind legs and all the other pieces. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out and have a great day.